Hello, everyone. Welcome to Game of Who. Uh, no, no, no. I was, I was, oh. I was waving oh. at you, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. well, okay. hi. Okay, so. That's how I wave at people. It spooks them out sometimes. <laughs> oh, well, that 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 is either, either saying hello or like stop what you're fucking doing, you goddamn idiot. In, in uh, all fairness, is, yes. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, so welcome to Game of Who. This is where we talk about the latest episode of Doctor Who. In this case, this is Series 11, Episode 2, The Ghost Monument, directed by Mark Tondrai and written by Chris Chinballs. I'm sorry, Chris Chibnall. We're talking about how this guy must have been teased mercilessly as a child, so I'm sorry, Chris. I'm oh. sorry for bringing up, like, harsh, harsh memories. We're going to get some you know. And yeah. Like, oh man, why did you bring that memory back up? Hey, beautiful people, I'm Vince Stone, that's Jordan Sveng, and yeah, this is something we've been doing for years and years and years. It's never been an uh, official show, but hey, we we're going to watch Doctor Who, and much like a uh, thing we do a couple of Xcheme like Cast Weekly, we're like, hey, we're going to sit around and talk about something anyway. We might as well record it, invite everyone to come watch this nightmare train. Um. Are, are, are we opening up the uh, lines at the end of the show this time? Or uh... I, I think we might, uh, if somebody wants to hop into Discord in the Ooh. little bit after show, you, you can provide feedback or you can do it live <laughs> currently. You can go to linuxgamecast.com forward slash live. There's instructions to get into our Discord or IRC. Look at that. I'm oh, pretending yeah. this is a real show. Um, right. Well, speaking, speaking of real shows, we open up with an intro, motherfuckers. Yeah, I was like, weekly, daily Wednesdays? No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, think. but we... So what, what What do you think of the new intro? Well, that that was like my first thing, because I, I set it to uh, start watching it. Uh, honestly, I'd forgotten. I was like, oh, no intros anymore. Okay, then whoosh, spinny stuff, and wait a minute, intro, ooh. It's, it's, it's like that one image that's like reflected in on itself, and it kind of reminded me of like a brain and... Instead of like the time vortex, is that what that looks like these days? I'm not sure. Maybe it it, it seemed a lot slicker than previous ones. Wooshy, maybe? I don't know. I mean, I, I didn't spend a whole lot of time on it. I was like, oh, that's neat. All right. Yeah, and I mean, I mean we, we, we open up basically where we uh, left off last episode, where uh, they're in space. And, and yeah, you can yeah. called it, man. All oh, right. yeah. Ooh, you, you, hear, you hear that ringing? That, that, that's the phone. You better pick it up because I called it. That that was a one hundred percent the thing, man. You were like spaceships. I, I was thinking TARDIS. You know, TARDIS is hanging out with its nitrogen field. Nope, but not one ship, two ship. Red fish, or uh, red ship, blue ship. Right. No. Uh. Well, the, and and that's the thing. We get like the opening, and it reminds me of uh, fucking Marathon Man, where the guy has like the the mask on his face, and I kept expecting someone to like come in with a scalpel or like some tooth pulling instruments. Is it safe? But it is. No. Yeah. I don't know. I, you know, a lot of people were upset. They're like, Maddie was like, that cliffhanger. I was like, well, you don't really. I mean, it's the first episode. It's kind of like you shouldn't do anything like, oh, I will get to it. But at the end of this episode, it was like, oh, I wonder if things going to happen. It's like, we all know things going to happen. Come on, drop the suspense, yeah. right? Yeah. I I mean, at some point, you got to realize, like, this is this is a show that children watch as well. So you got to. I'm going to pump the brakes a are, are they, little bit. Are they, are they still trying to use that excuse? Because uh, the, there, there's several, like, especially with New Who, it's like, those are not kid episodes, man. Oh, no. Uh, I, th I think we'll talk about that a little later. But, like, in general, this, like, the, with the lighting and the colors, everything is a lot darker this season. Do you notice yeah. that? Yeah. I think we're going to be covering that. So we got the two spaceships. That's the thing. Uh, immediately, uh, we have half of the companions in one ship and conveniently the other half in the other. The, 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 this, this is right. There, there's, there's a bit at the beginning where it's like, we're, we're going to crash land on the ship because we're out of gas. And the old man's like, I'm not going and I'm not going to do anything until you tell me what's going on. Like, okay. Splat. <laughs> But everyone's like all discombobulated. Like first, yeah. it's the um, not the doctor. Yeah, it's the uh, it, it, granddad Ryan, and grandson, R right? R Ryan and Graham are their names. We, we couldn't figure that out last week. Give me two or three years, and I'll, I'll remember yeah. names. Horrible names, and they are in uh, the ladies' spaceship, right? Yes. Um, and we 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 find, we we hear talk of another spaceship, maybe. Maybe, and but everything's maybe. like going wrong on both ships because something they're trying to get to a planet and the planet's like, Dynify or I'm over here now. Yeah, that that's not very well explained, but that 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 is the thing that happened. And so, uh, they bo both of them end up 
landing on the planet. Uh, the doctor ship has a bit of a rougher landing. Though, uh, there, 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 there's a lovely little debate uh, between the, the ship... I, 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 I don't know. We're going to call... We're, are, are, what, are, what are we going to call these two guys? These these two new characters. Which ones? That, only, the, that show up for this episode. The They're, two the new... One, what? Oh, the... Yeah, the, yeah those guys. What, what are we going to call them? Um, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. All right, so... Well, Tweedledee and Tweedle Grumpy. Tweedle, Tweedle Grump. Tweedle yeah. Grump and Tweedle Not So Grump. Tweedle uh, uh, jumped out of a tree. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Um... So they they land, they meet up. Well, I think uh, not to jump that far ahead because when we're yeah. introduced, they're like, "Oh, yeah. okay, they got it sorted." But if we shoot back over to the ship that the doctor's on with, mm-hmm. what what what's the other lady do? What was her profession? Uh, she's the cop. Oh, right, she's like a, a PC, and yeah. the doctor's running around the ship like this thing's old school. I'm I can do old school and doing all that fun bit. And that was kind of interesting because we're like back with the, I think we're back with a God doctor. It's like, yeah, you know, it's like the doctor's like, Oh, I'm kind of like everyone else. Uh, Jody's definitely more of these. Like I got this. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a do the thing. I'm going to take the charge. Yeah. The, the, um, but yeah, there, there, there's, there's a crash landing and we, we both, we both pick this out. The, mm-hmm. the, the, the cinema sins reference, mm-hmm. the, yeah, the, Ship's crashing. Let's run away from it in a direct line in the direction that it's heading. That seems like an intelligent idea. For three decades, that's mm-hmm. always, even as a child, that bothers. Like, oh, no, because this, is, this has been a trope and everything. It's like, usually, like, trees or something like that. I was like, why don't you take two steps to the left? Oh, yeah. Uh, run, run perpendicular to the thing that's about to crash into you. The other thing that the, the other thing that was said in that early scene was like, this planet doesn't have a name; it has a symbol. So we're they're on planet Prince, apparently. Oh man, yeah, there, yeah. There's there's going to be some purple rain later on. Let me tell you. So they're down. They crashed, and there's a ten. Yes, but it's not a ten. No, it's, right. a, it's a t- it's a hollow tent, man. Come on, get with the times. The, Perfectly hollow good hollow tent. Um, yeah. And we we finally we finally get the explanation for why everyone's here. Uh, Tweedledee and Tweedledum are in a race, and it was a big scary race where there were like a hundred people, and these are the only two survivors. Dude, I think it was something. I think these are like six or nine hundred people. Yeah, some and some 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 large number. And this is this well, like this race. I mean, you start with nothing and you barter your way up. Then that, yeah, that that's interesting. I would like to. I would actually like to see something that kind of explores that because that was that was a cool concept. No, don't worry. It'll be on like Fox next year on pay per view. Oh, 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 oh yeah, well, or and then it's going to get canceled, and then ABC is going to have a rip off of that, and that'll run. For that'll end up on Netflix. Don't worry. Oh yeah, of course. Um, but yes. Um, but the doc- the doctor isn't concerned about the race though. She's curious about what's going on with this planet. Because mm, everything dead, man. Yeah, it's 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 all dead. Um, our all our, our holographic race master buddy here says the planet has been made cruel. Well, that's true. And the dude drops his knowledge, and you know we we kind of get the backstory real quick. And these uh, Tweedledee and Tweedledum are the last two contestants in this race. And the doctor's like, "Ooh, what type of holograms this? Are you an AI interface?" And it's like, "Excellent nose hair." And uh, mm-hmm. dude's like, "Peace out, good luck." And you, you, they kind of do that arc thing. It's like, "Oh, this guy's really bad," but then the guy's like, "Yo, by the way, you know, don't kill each other." Um, no yo mama jokes and no sa- no sabotage no killing each other right so you're like well he's yeah. not bad bad he's like neutral don't give a fuck oh i i guess i guess we skipped over the universal translators though um apparently they, got, oh, yeah. they all got stabbed they all got stabbed with them while they were on the ships man people are getting that's... stabbed in this um new series man first in the collar and now in the back of the neck yeah gr- gr- grandma's like for once i'd like to not be like injected with things without my consent which i feel is a valid complaint i don't know man um, you gotta pay extra for that in some places absolutely there's there, there's a there's another good bit in the tent too um where um, th- there's like, yeah, the prize money for the race is like 50 million floopy doops. What's a mm-hmm. floopy doop? Well, it's about 30, 30 schmickle schmorps. <laughs> like, <laughs> that, 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 that entire conversation got a chuckle out of me. Also, I'm a human being. You have to give me a result. I'm not human. Or I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a moomin. A moomin bean or something like that. Yeah. Damn moomins. 
That was kind of interesting. I, I dig that. But the whole thing that bothered me, because, yeah, it was hand wavy. It was like, oh, we wouldn't need those translators if the TARDIS were here because it has the translation matrix field thingy. Oh, yeah. This is what's always bothered me with that. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm not nitpicking. I have never lost sleep over this. I was like, but wait a minute. I remember, you know, when I was young watching Farscape and they're like, oh, they get the translator microbes like shot into Crichton's ankles. Yeah. Like, that's how come you can understand. Every and they at least went through the effort of everyone speaking yeah. gibberish or, at first. Then, or like the, the, the babble fish from uh, Hitchhiker's Guide. Right. But what's always bothered me on film, on TV, in moving pictures and cinema as a whole, the lips are still in sync. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that would be funny if like someone actually went to like the detail of like everything is dubbed like a fucking Godzilla movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, and then there's like a DVD extra, you get the actual dialogue and it's something completely different. <laughs> oh man. So they get a map, they get an idea and they're like, go, go for it. Heading out into the desert uh, immediately. Grandpa's uh, like, what? Oh no, no. Be because before that we, we have to find the end, the, the finish line of the, of the race. Right. Well, it's Which, at the ghost the monument. Mon what does it look like, though? What could it be? Oh, man. I, I, I couldn't possibly. What is like? Is that the point? Oh, oh, the audience is. But there it is. There's the start. Yeah. All right. Yep. That, that, that's where we're going. Now, did you think like the um, it was going to be like uh, Smith's TARDIS where it expanded? Yeah, I, I think I figured it. I honestly thought at the beginning of the episode, like part of the reason why the planet said is because like the TARDIS malfunctioned or something and it fucked up the planet. Mm -hmm. That'd be fun. That, yeah, that that would that would have been fun. Um, but no, we, we we find out that that's not the case at all. Um, we uh we we, we do get it. We do get a bit of uh we do a space Mexican standoff though. Um, I think once they get to the boat. Hmm. Well, on the way to the boat. Yeah, I, I thought this was an interesting thing. Because Grandpa's like, oh, I got sand in my eyes, Johnson. And Doctor, yeah. she reaches in to the coat and she's like, bam. And I was like, oh, shit, the Sonics. And she's like, no, I, yeah. I got these from Pythagoras or some... Audrey Hepburn. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was kind of hoping it like, why would she have those? Like, it would make sense if she had the Capaldi shades on her still. That would be kind of neat. That would make sense. But, and then we get yeah. the whole quip, and he was like, I don't think Pythagoras ever wore shades. He's like, you've never seen him with a hangover. I was like, all right, all right, kid show, come on, language. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, we, 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 we'll get to the ship. We, the solar yeah, we, ship that uh, Gramps and Grandson are going to fix because somebody took shop. Oh, yeah, no, because they they both trained as mechanics. Mm -hmm. And I think I think before that, uh, before they even get on the ship, uh, our, I guess Tweedledum, he pulls he pulls a gun on everyone's. You're not getting into this boat. It's my boat. We get a nice little uh, John Pertwee reference with the Venusian Aikido. It's... Oh yeah, space jujitsu. Like, meh. yeah, that, that, yeah, that, that was that was a third Doctor thing. So. Oh, right on. But you know, of yeah. course, the Doctor she walks up and like she's like, "Did you practice that?" Yeah. We we both know you're not going to shoot anyone. Get on the boat. Then they, it's yeah. like it's a solar boat. Then oh, then we realize that the water is made of death too. Well, they they were they were warned about it. Don't don't drink the water. Don't touch the water, mm -hmm. and don't uh, don't travel at night. Which I, I guess kind of compounds the space Mexico comparison. Don't drink the water. Montezuma's revenge, man. Oh yeah, um, they're full they're full of death microbes that will liquefy you and turn your skin inside out. They get on the boat. They're chilling out. Uh, we we learn about Tweedledum. He's like, hey man, as a kid, my mom said, climb this tree. And he did. And she's like, high as you can. And he did. She's like, okay, jump, little fella. I got you. And he's like, I don't know. She's like, jump. Mother's got you. So he jumped. Mom took a step back. He like broke his ankle and his collarbone and all that. And his mom's like, never trust anyone. And I was like, that's a good life lesson. It's a good thing I don't have kids. Um, it, it reminds me of that old Emo Phillips job where it was like, when I was a boy, my pastor said to me, son, do you love the Lord? Yes. Yes, father. Do you really love the Lord? Yes, yes, I do. Then raise your hands and scream. And so I did. And then I fell off the roller coaster. Nice. Um, not where I thought that was going. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so they get across uh, the ocean. Then they run into the uh, desert uh, shopping complex, I guess. No, the, like it, it straight up turns into Doctor Who Battle Royale. You get like a giant abandoned complex full of ruins. Mm -hmm. Um. Tweedle, Tweedledum goes and he uh, he says, "I'm gonna I'm gonna win this race on my own. Y'all have already lost." Um, and they 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 go they go in, 
Doctor's still curious, like, where where are all the people? What happened? What could it possibly be? Mm -hmm. And uh, we uncover some rabbits. Uh, Well, okay. Didn't they? I mean, for me, they just kind of showed up. They're like, boom. What the hell? Because, I mean, they kind of do that jump cut, jump shot. And, of course... This was this was really troped out because the doctor's like, oh, it's cool. The robots. I was like, a, that's not cool. B, he's like, long as no one does anything dumb, and we just back away slowly, followed by, all right, what's dumbass doing? Yep, he's about to. Uh, there, hard, there it is. Hard, hard cut. Right. Yeah, hard cut. Yeah. I knew you knew that was coming a mile away. Then it oh, turned yeah. into like pupilusa. Yeah. The uh, you know I gotta give credit to to this writing staff. At least they tell people to serpentine while trying to agu- avoid gunfire. Mm-hmm. That, but you're 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 right. The the, the robots clearly all went to the Imperial Stormtrooper. I'm telling you, man, they had to have been programmed by stormtroopers. I was like, yeah. really, because they weren't shooting like owie shots. They were like blowing stuff up that it was hitting. But mm. then it happens. Uh, grandson. Mm-hmm. The, our second sin because he picks up the well, the doctor and him and the doctor have the whole he's like no don't we don't use guns guns are bad guns don't get things done use your brain we're gonna outthink him and then he's like you know what fuck this i've trained for this so he picks up one of the uh robot yeah. guns and he tears out of the building and just like tries to murk some of the androids. Yeah, he, he, pe- he pegs a couple of them, but it turns out they're immune to their own weapons. That, that's kind of the whole thing. And I was like, oh, we're doing this. Oh, I played video games, so I got this. Oh, man. Well, and the first thing that came to my mind when he said that is like, no, man, you want to do the real shit. You got to get on Counter-Strike with DE Dust. That's how that's how you train. <laughs> um, not the, You know what? Real life doesn't have aim assist, brah. So all of this gets resolved with a surprise EMP. Yes, brave. Well, it's, she's like, Gun, guns are useless. Brains are are, uh, brains. are br- brains are good. It's like, well, technically, electromagnetic pulses <laughs> temporarily dissuade the thing shooting bullets at you for about three minutes, and then you're back to square one. So and, you know, in all fairness, you know, uh, those weren't bullets; they were lasers. Yeah. They, they, they were G.I. Joe lasers. Yeah, the, right. the red lasers, uh, which begs the question, where were the blue lasers? Because mm. that's, that, that's 50% of the battle. Knowing is the other half. So after um, that, they get, she mm-hmm. downs, so doesn't she, uh, they get the map or something like that from the androids. Yeah. And the, the, they, they find, they find like an, uh, an underground complex. A tube. Uh, a t- the tube. Oh, they're, 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 and this they, entire they go, time, all the way up to this, mm-hmm. um, like looming shots of like cloth on yeah sticks and trees and shit i was expecting spooky mummies that okay. was that was that was that was that was, <laughs> that was that was my guess at the beginning space mummies um but uh we 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 get i think we get we get a little more background about tweedle d at some point as well because we 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 learn we learn that uh, her uh, the reason that she's doing this race is because she's trying to win the prize money to help her family escape persecution because her planet is being Cleansed. exterminated. Yeah. Yeah. And and my first thought was, hmm, I wonder who's doing that. Oh man. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. Cause it's really phrased like, yeah, on my planet, space Holocaust is going on. Mm-hmm. And then it is like, oh, I wonder who's doing that. And she's like, you remember the teethy people? I called that too. All I right. Called it. You get two Snickers. Um, yeah. So if, if, down like in a hole, I have a full size Snickers bar. <laughs> we're down in a hole and uh, we're walking around to the no. Oh, then we see the doctor. And I was like, yeah, I, I, that I, that's led to some bad things because she's like, oh, I love a big lock door. And I was like, yeah, I do too, man. But it never yeah. turns out good. Um, um, Sonic. Oh, man, that thing just does all the business in this episode. It's like, I'll Sonic this, I'll Sonic that. Well, it, the, 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 there's one thing that comes up that that I, I really want I, that just tickled me. That was very mm-hmm. very funny, but we haven't we haven't gotten to that point yet. Okay. Um, but uh, she she tells Tweedledum, "You need to go take one of your heroic naps." And I thought to myself, "Man, I want to take a heroic nap." Uh, as as they uh, they uncover the truth, the 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 why why everyone's dead. The side the. Ever, once that once they find a lab in the underground complex, uh, you mean that the scientists conveniently wrote in some like Doom twenty sixteen type blood ass shit in the middle of the floor? Lit? Absolutely, it's like by the way, here's why we did all the things that we did. Turns out it's Toothy Magoo. 
and his people they're 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 forcing people to make weapons of mass destruction mm-hmm. to wipe themselves they were all out. tested on the planet right and yeah. they were kidnapping scientists and like okay that's the thing but they're able to cross reference the maps and find out the tunnels so they can travel at night why can't we travel at night let's find out well, the reason is that you remember that EMP that only lasted for about three minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it takes a little longer than three minutes to navigate a, tu- a tunnel system. So they're back up. They seal the tube and they kill the life support. So they got to go out onto the surface, which is conveniently day when they get out. Well, well they conveniently said, uh, hey, we got to travel to the acetylene fields. Yes. And Think about acetylene. Remember I, facts about acetylene. As somebody who placed an order for acetylene this morning, I was like, stupid planet with its free acetylene. <laughs> right. Uh, got some welding I need to do. Fuck. All right. So are, are we almost right at the point where we're attacked by the space scarves? Yes. A bunch of spooky scarves attack. Um, Talking psychic. Spooky it's like seriously they're fucking harry potter villains i think they're like, fucking like life forms man the doctor killed and destroyed a unique life form is one way of looking they, at it because because they, they figured shit out about her mr the time child. child yeah and i was like yeah. oh shit okay Ooh, that yeah. that admitted all right that got my attention i was like all right yeah Clear, clear, clearly they know something and jody doesn't want them to know because mm-hmm. she fucking torches their ass with yeah, the, with okay. The magic that, that, cigar. It's like, oh, people really dig in. They're, okay, that was that was kind of dumb because apparently these fucking things can read your mind. You're like, oh, we're fooling them by not talking about what we're doing by rubbing our feet in the ground. Yeah. So, all right, and we learned earlier that Tweedledum has a very special cigar that was made. It's kind of like the Brood Witch of cigars, right? It's the fucking Grand Cigar from Futurama. It's like fucking rolled by Queen Elizabeth in her crazy years. Right. It takes a hundred years to make and. Ultimately, it can handily be ignited by snapping your finger nor organs. So th- mm. they're like, drop, and she throws that and snaps, boom, and the acetylene kills all of our psychic space scarves while they're laying there on the ground, and I am just thinking, and they all just suffocated. Yeah, because that, that would have just consumed all the oxygen in the area. <laughs> right. You're dead. Anyway. Also, I'm pretty sure acetylene doesn't work that way, like... Even even if they were lying low, the flames would still heat them. Um, yeah, I, I man, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I willing suspension of disbelief. You know, right, just, right. Yeah. Just got to roll with it. Got to roll with it. But we 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 go on from space PUBG to uh, space Lord of the Rings. It looked it looks like some uh, budget ass uh, lo- uh, Middle Earth sets when they finally when they finally get to Mount Ghost Monument. Oh, you mean the other tent? Yes, the other the other tents. <laughs> the, well, um, yeah, they, they have the moment, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. They have the argument, and she's like, "Listen, mm. I get all the monies because you know I sorted all this shit, I saved everyone's life, and all this." And the dude's like, "That was my cigar." Yeah, and you're like, "You know what? Let's walk in there together." Then what yep. happens? Then uh, there's a little bit of a tantrum. Uh, the the the, ra- the race runner, Mister Mister Hologram, he's all like, "No, you can't, you can't tie the race. I forbid it." And then Tweedledum is all like, "I'll just fucking stab you in the face." Then like, I'll get off this planet and I'll find. You know what? If I was the hologram, I'm like, "Good luck getting off the planet." Bye. And it's like bye. Yeah. Uh, well, apparently it's not just a hologram. It's like the fucking Asgard hologram teleporter thing. Clearly. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, dude nopes out, takes Tweedledee, Tweedledum, and leaves our companion and the doctor stranded. Yeah. And the doctor's just like, oh, fuck. Where, where was the TARDIS? We were not given a period as to when this thing shows up other than every thousand cycles, whatever that is. How how dare it not be there the one time we show up? And that's kind of like, <laughs> I, I, but, I honestly wish they had put content in between that like two or three minutes it's like you know it's showing up I mean. oh abso- absolutely right like this is doctor who so she 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 points her sonic screwdriver at it it rematerializes well she has well, a very, very- she, she hears that a first of all we know that parking brake's still on absolutely well, well that was the thing river took it off and then he put it back on right he's like, she- i like the noise yeah oh there and is then- that reference uh what it, it's like oh right she's like Who's your daddy? I mean, mommy. I mean, or, dad, or, or, however, yeah, yeah that, right. That that, that 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 was pretty good. I I, uh, uh, I dug that. Yeah. Um. 
but we get we 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 get our we get our shot of the brand new TARDIS. Bigger on the inside. It's like how are we all supposed to fit in a Scottish police box? Yeah. Lo and behold. Uh and you so you you made an interesting comparison, and at first I agreed with you, but then once it like sort of widened out, I'm like, no, I, I see what they're doing here. But the but to, to my earlier point, everything in this new season is so much darker in terms of color palette. Mm-hmm. The the TARDIS is like under dim light constantly, like you can barely make out stuff. Well, looking at that, I mean, right when we walk in, we, we get a lot more of the side shots of the TARDIS because now it has like the side walls. It's kind of like the, you know, it, it's when like you walk into concept. a house and you, you have feel like your little coat room and it's like, Oh, we normally don't get that shot. We just get a flat mm-hmm. area. So that was different. Oh, and before that, just like, Oh, you fancied yourself up. And it's like, I forgot my key. And the TARDIS is like, Clunk, come on in. Come on, baby. And yeah, but that first establishing shot, just running through the panels. I was like, that's very Klingon esque. Yeah. It, I, 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 got, I got that thing at first. I saw your note. And I'm like, yeah, it's kind of. And then it sort of expanded out into like the weird Gallifreyan, like semicircle mm-hmm. character thing. I'm like, okay, no, I, I get what they're doing. Here's my thought. I felt like it was like the, the new desktop that the TARDIS picked all by itself. Mm-hmm. It was like the design department, there were two warring factions. Somebody's like, yeah, let's do this dark crystal shit. And there was like the people that were still there. They're like, yeah, but we're going to glue some goofy shit to it. Yeah. TARDIS has a muffin button, by the way. Fuck. Yeah, it does. It, it dispenses muffin. treats. Dude, d- never underestimate the power of the muffin button. And it's got little like three or four hour glasses. And I was like, really? I don't yeah. know about that. Um, and, and, and it has a little spinning TARDIS in the middle of it. Yeah. Doesn't it? Who would, uh, man, who, who, what, what, kind, what kind of pandering asshole would have one of those? You would really have to be like a fucking sellout, man, to have like that in ab- any ab- shot. Ab- absolutely, uh, absolutely. I, I just do not approve com- of that com- 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 whatsoever. Complete shit heel. Complete shit heel. Yeah. Um, but um, they, 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 they take off and they go on to their next adventure. <laughs> Yeah, Which according to, according to the preview, <laughs> oh let, let's uh, let's let's see the Britain hot take on American politics this year. Oh Woof. man, we're going to fifties Alabama, Alabama. That's right, roll tide. Um, hmm. uh, they're, they're, they're running into Miss Rosa Parks. Oh, that's that's, that's going to turn out super well. Also, twenty bucks says they're not going to mention Claudette Colvin at all. Ooh, you know what the sad thing is? A lot of people are like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah, go look, go look that mm-hmm. up. Look, look, look up the story of Claudette Coldvin, and uh, it, it, it's it's interesting. Anyways, um, but I think that that um, so what what do we th- what do we think? It was a good episode. I mean, it was it nothing happened. I I, I huh standalone. I mean, I, I guess they're going to be safe and kind of stick with standalone stuff right now but uh they're 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 building up they're they're setting the little the groundwork for the foundation for like clear clear clearly toothy mcgrinface is is going to be the main right right we we gotta have that and they gave us uh, a little bit with like oh the timeless child and i was like oh oh, all right i mean you got me watching Mm -hmm. next week Mm -hmm. um yeah so here, so con- content continuing on fucking baseless speculation land. Mm-hmm. Do you think so? I think that the first toothy McGrinface what was, what was the name Jake Shaw or whatever. What? It was like it was like it was like some really mundane name for an alien. Um, but I think I think he's actually like the fucking mini boss. He actually has a boss that he's sucking up to because he was he came to Earth to get that other guy's job. I think we're gonna meet the other guy and. First toothy face is going to be like fucking Starscream or some shit. I don't know. I mean, uh, I think we're in a completely different area now simply because mm-hmm. uh, TARDIS. Yes. Uh, they, now, 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 they can, now they can jump around. The most uh, powerful spaceship aside from the Lux. Yes. Um, not, 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 not as cool as the O'Neill, though. Oh, hell no, man. Nothing beats the O'Neill. Yeah. <laughs> It's good. We're going to come back to it next week, man. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, like, like, like you said, it, it, it's just like another episode. It, w- it was fine. It did nothing wrong, but it wasn't like mind blowing either. Um, 
hope, hope, hopefully, hopefully all these sorry seeds go somewhere. What are you feeling on like Jody's take? I, I'm getting mm, kind, uh, kind of more, oh, more of a oh. tenant vibe. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely, definitely a little bit. Yeah. Oh, there, there, there's one thing that I, 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 I said I was going to bring it up, but I totally forgot about it. Mm-hmm. When the when the evil rags start attacking, she points her sonic screwdriver at it, and like it does nothing. And then uh, Tweedledee pulls out a knife and cuts it off. And I'm like, wow! Remember last episode when you said only idiots use knives? This was a time where a knife came in handy, wasn't it? Oh yeah. Oh, now I want sentient cloth. Sentient cloth. Attack. <laughs> attack, cloth. attack of the clothes. Oh man. All right, beautiful people. That's been that. That's going to be the show official. If you want to, uh, anybody wants to hop in to Discord and talk about this, now it's time to do it. It might make the final cut. It might not. Oh, yeah. But I actually need to put up like a uh, after show. Bye bye. Do I even have that? Uh, yeah, I can light that up. I have things wired appropriately. Appropriately. Ish. Totally, totally appropriate. Hey, Joe. Hello. Hey, hey. <laughs> I need to copy over things real quick to Ubar. After shows in. Ta da! Look at that. Science. So, Jill, what'd you think? What's yeah. your fav- is this your favorite Doctor Best episode ever? It's going to be great. <laughs> no, it, like, like you guys were saying, it, it's, it's just. It's definitely a classic Doctor Who trope of an episode, but it's establishing the characters uh, for future story arcs. Oh, man. Are you saying we're stuck with them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like Jodie Whittaker a lot. I think, she, yeah, she does remind me of Tenet, but she also reminds me a lot of Pertwee and uh, Troughton, some of the earlier Doctors. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, so she she she's come out and said that she's also like a big Doctor Who fan, so there's probably yeah. gonna be a lot of um, a lot, lot of, of crossover, li- yeah. li- li- little little callbacks. They they said that they're little not going to be doing big callbacks. Yeah, yeah, and and I like the outfit she chose. I think that's really fun. <laughs> oh, here's something. What, what do you think about Doctor Earrings? Oh yeah, yeah, that was <laughs> yeah. He he. Oh, remind me a little bit. <laughs> oh, I guess a little bit of a Ferengi. I don't know. <laughs> well, I, no, I, it was very, I thought it was more Bajoran then because it had the, uh, one yeah. at the bottom and the one at the top. But well, the chain, yeah. Yeah, but. Uh, oh, oh, okay. I didn't it, catch the chain. Yeah, she had okay. a little chain. That's like her thing. But uh, PC, the oh. uh, constable lady, I counted. She had yeah. six earrings in just the right ear. I was like, oh, whoa, yeah. that's a bit much. <laughs> I don't know. Cool. Jordan, are you going to go out and get some earrings now, Jordan? <laughs> I'm, 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 I, you know, I'm a fan of the, the, the septum piercing. Oof. I like the, uh, I, I, I don't know. It reminds me of like a minotaur Ew. or something. <laughs> out of all my piercings, the only one I kept was uh, the one in my left ear and like the cartilage up at top. So, like, yeah, I, I never could do the Kira Nuris thing. That was uh, some people do that at the conventions. <laughs> Here, here's the thing with me and like piercings and tattoos. I actually really want tattoos, mm-hmm. but I don't necessarily trust myself to not poke at them while they're healing. Oh yeah, you like the fidgety, scratchy stuff. Yeah, I, yep. I do that. And you know, I, if, I, if you just I, get I, like I've a, seen, I've seen, I've seen too many shit things go wrong. The with that. Yeah. straight outline that doesn't really bother you, but once they go back and do the shading, that's yeah. that's itchy, just man. Yeah, I, like I, I don't trust myself. Mm. Jill, how many tattoos do you have? Are you like a biker? <laughs> she's got, no, she's got, she's got like Linux tattoos. life tattooed. She has Linux life tattooed on her stomach, Aww. like thug life. Right. <laughs> no tattoos. <laughs> so we learned like with the overnight ratings and stuff, they had like a uh, last week's episode had like 9 million pull. Yeah. Oh. So that wasn't, I mean, of the new who, I think like only <laughs> tenets. Come back. Well, his initial episode was higher. Mm-hmm. I'm probably getting everything wrong because you know what? This is the internet. Absolutely. Well, I mean, well, the, with the with the three doctors, right? Like that was that they got that got a fairly big media blitz. Oh yeah, and it did. That, and 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 that had the hype machine behind it too. It's like, oh my god, Dan, it's back. So, do you think we're going to get a spinoff series? They. 
every every so often they try to fit one uh, try to fit like a backdoor pilot in mm-hmm. yeah um mm-hmm. i don't know i watched like the first six episodes of class and i gave up jill did you watch that at all yeah i did i didn't didn't care for it much but i could right. see i could see a sarah jane adventures coming out of this actually for the kids i tried watching uh, that didn't stick Oh, that was one and, of my favorites. <laughs> and un- un- unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, she she did. Um, mm. I know, I know. That was so sad. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I I want a Ginny Strax and Madam. Um, what's her name? Madam Basra. Yeah. Oh yeah. Give me that. Mm-hmm. Like set it in Victoria time. Go all ninja and like eat people and yeah. I'm good. <laughs> oh yeah, no, you you could totally do like a League of Extraordinary Doctor Who gentlemen with that setup. Yeah. <laughs> Jody needs K9. That's what we need. <laughs> no, yes, you yes, know, yes. <laughs> See that that's just extra kinky, right? Like I don't think yeah. No. <laughs> but if more if yes, more mistress. advanced K9. <laughs> yeah, smack smack me with that newspaper, doctor. Yes, I've been a bad dog. <laughs> Now I want a canine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, yeah, like fucking kinky canine right. for sure. <laughs> we need a floating one so that it doesn't have uh, have problems with with, with the landscape. <laughs> well, oh, I, I forgot I, for, I forgot to mention our our new our new companion Ryan has something in common with Daleks. He can't oh, use ladders. Yeah. yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, that in the Half Life Two engine source version. Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's oh, the yeah. deal with that? Oh, I, I guess it's like, are they really going to hammer on his like disability with coordination? Can't ride a bike, can't climb ladders. Um... Yeah. Like, 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 I, like yeah. I said, I think this is, I think they're setting up his little redemption arc. He's going to do, he's going to do something. He's, he's, he's going to he's, climb a ladder while riding a bike. No, he's, he's, he's going to be like, I love you. Not granddad. I believe you're actually my granddad now. And then he's going to like do the thing. <laughs> that's, that's totally what's going to happen. Turns out granddad's a tooth person. Turns out Granddad is actually a Cyberman. <laughs> Cyber Dalek. You're good at one thing. You're superior to Daleks in one area. What's that? Dying. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. That, <laughs> we, we, we need more like fucking Dalek shit talk. Right. Oh. It's, it's so good. <laughs> Who's your favorite baddies out of all time, Jill? Oh gosh! Honestly, I think the Cybermen only because they were the first ones I had seen as a kid, and you know they were in the very first episode of Doctor Who, the actually second episode. But um, yeah, I think the Cybermen. <laughs> Jordan. <'Cause> I, the- <laughs> oh, that's that's a tough one, right? Like, I want to say one of like the weirder ones. Really? How oh, you want to be like hipster about it? You're like, oh, the well, obscure one that was on screen for well, thirty so, seconds so, yeah. in the fifties. So, well, no, like. Or what? What do you what do you call it? Like the my, one of my favorite villain bits is like when they're when they're on like the planet Satan or whatever, mm-hmm. and like the demons like roar and the doctor's like Rawr! that was um, that that was yeah. that was pretty good. Um, no, but like I don't I don't know like I don't have any particular attachment to like the Cybermen or the Daleks as villains. Yeah. They're all kind. <laughs> they're all ki- like I I get that they're supposed to be goofy, but like still a little too goofy. Um. Yeah, well, that was one of the reasons in the 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 very first time we saw the Cybermen, they were actually creepy. They, they, there was an episode called Tomb of the Cy- Cybermen, and mm-hmm. um, it was uh, they they communicated intellectually. I mean, it was a really for a little kid. It was uh, actually quite intense. Oh, ab- and they ab- were actually real villain villains then. <laughs> ab- so. Oh, ab- ab- absolutely! Like yeah. I, I, again, if you if, if but it, it, it's it's a matter of perspective. Right? Like if you're if you yeah. are looking at that as like the six year old child, yeah, that shit's absolutely fucking terrifying. You're gonna you know, play yeah, in the fucking yeah. bed for weeks. Maddie brings up a pretty good one. Uh, oh yeah, the the the, 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 the Narada. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they were great. Yeah, who turned out the lights? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, you know what? I, you know, you know what? I, you know, I, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll say, I'll say. So far, Michelle Gomez as the mistress has actually been like my favorite. This is like one of my favorite characters. I don't, I don't consider. I like her too much to be a baddie. Well, she, well, yeah. she was introduced. She was introduced as a villain, and then, then they did the reform thing. She, but yes, but like, yeah, like 
I, I, I am, I'm just so enamored with her take on the master. It's just so perfect. Right. I, don't, I want like a pair. I don't even want a spinoff. I want like a parallel, like, just give me that, give her a TARDIS, go for it. Yeah. And, uh, if I got to say like my favorite baddies, it's going to sound cheap, but it's the weeping angels only because of angel oh, Bob. Yeah. Now that I know that the angels oh, are dicks. It's like, yeah, yeah that, all right. That was just actually one of the most blink was one of the most brilliant science fiction episode tv episodes of all time it, it's up there oh, uh, in my top 10 it, it is abs- abs- absolutely like especially yeah, as like a doctor who episode that features yes. very little of the doctor mm-hmm. yeah like, i know yeah because <laughs> cause that, that's ultimately my like my biggest gripe with doctor who is that like at the end of the day you know that the doctor is going to succeed um yeah. the doctor always has some bullshit plot device to get them out of the situation and well, they throw it, you curveballs sometimes, like uh, Water of Mars. Yeah, so, some, oh, some, yeah. sometimes, 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 sometimes they do, and I, I appreciate it when like the doctor gets in over their head. But um, what is like, the Trouton episode? Patrick Trotton? Oh, oh Trouton. That that's the um, uh, Tomb of the Cybermen that ah, I was speaking. Ah, of. Yeah, yeah, that was one of his very first episodes. Yeah. And, no, but like, yeah. I, it's it's it's. It, it's Thank a thing you, that Steve comes husband. up. In, yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing that comes up in D and D games where you have like a party of really well optimized characters who always succeed at things. Like that's boring. I want to see people struggle. I want to see people fail and deal with the consequences of that failure. That's cool. what I find compelling in fiction. Yeah, <laughs> I think we saw a lot of that with Tenet. Tenet ate a lot of shit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because because that entire thing was like. Oh, I'm the last Rose of the Time Lords. And, yeah. yeah, I'm I'm, I'm the last of the Time Lords. Everyone around me dies. I just don't fucking care anymore. I'm gonna be as fucking egotistical and like prideful as I want. And look at all the shit that comes and bites but me he, in the ass as a result well, of that. Yeah, even even yeah. like when he was going out, he was like, uh, "Your end will come. Death will knock four times." And like he gets through the oh, whole yeah. thing and he's safe. And you're like, whoo! Then Willard or what? What's his name? Yeah, yeah. It's like knock, knock, knock. That that was that was so clever. That was like motherfucker. Oh. Then, then and I, especially because yeah. like in the previous two episodes like he will knock four times one two right. three, two three. And like, <laughs> I'm like oh shit and and one of my favorite a- actually characters and story arcs is the dr donna that uh, they made i mean that was like a, a separate character in in, oh, yeah. in in the in the seasons and then the ood talking about the dr donna it i like the ood well um done. i mean uh <laughs> Wasn't my favorite, but I'll take Doctor Donna any day over yeah. Game of Thrones girl and um. Oh yeah, pal and friend. I don't even know who was the other person. Clara. Oh, oh Clara. Yeah, they, Clara. They're all yeah. from their own TARDIS, having their own adventures. Apparently. Yeah, right? it's it's a, it's a TARDIS that's a diner. Or, yeah. The. Yeah. I don't even know where to go with that. Um. Yeah, they, I I think that timeline. There's like, let's just pretend that never happened. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, no. It was good. I think we're going to be back next week to check it out again. And um, you, so you enjoyed it, Jill? You're going to keep watching? Oh, yes, of course. I I, I have seen every Doctor Who available, that, uh, Doctor Who episode that you can see, even the ones that were remastered as black and white cartoons to fill in the did stories. You, did, did, you, I, I, did you watch I all the, all the ones? DVDs. Did you watch the ones that they like found in some guy's basement in Australia? Yep. Yeah, or they're yeah, like, no, we like we legitimately thought that those tapes were trash. No, nope, someone made a copy. Then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and what's amazing that that's the one nice thing about the DVDs and the Blu-rays is they go back and they actually will those for those missing episodes and the story arcs they fill them in with beautiful black and white white um, um, artwork. Uh, oh, because uh, do they still the have like the original scripts or whatever? Yes. Yeah. They still have the original it, 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 scripts and even the soundtracks, but the video will be missing. And it's really amazing. Some those are some of the best episodes of Doctor Who. It, 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 would, it, would, <laughs> it, it would be interesting because they got uh they, they got what's his name? Um fucking Walter Frey, he was in Harry Potter too. He now now, oh, now he plays yeah. William, he plays like William Hartnell whenever they need someone to like sub in for like William Hartnell. And yeah. like it would be interesting if they like went back and got like lookalikes and soundalikes for all the actors and just like filmed like because they have the scripts right they can they can just yeah. make them. 
And that was also, at, actually, we have the big Doctor Who convention here in L.A., um, Gallifrey One. And that was one of my favorite things is when they would do commentary on episodes that weren't that you couldn't get anymore, that, had, that they still had scripts for. So that mm. was really neat to see the actors do live you know, narration. Or, 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 or like, yeah, like maybe, maybe recontextualize <laughs> it, like get yeah. Smith or Capaldi and a couple of like the contemporaries to like just do a table read of the scripts and just be like, well, oh, done, be cool. um, some really yeah. good things like in Deering Smith's thing, you know, like the, when they wrapped up the plot with Amelia Pond and Rory getting, you know, yep. angeled yes. back and time locked and whatever bullshit they wrote them out of the script. Yep. They had an alternate ending where their grandkid that they adopted came back to meet mm-hmm. um, Rory's dad but they yeah. never filmed it, but they made they a animatic it. for yeah. it. You can find it uh-huh. online and it was voiced out and with a story. And I was like, that was really good. Yes. But Hey yeah, man, interested. this is the good thing he about the Trump. internet is nothing's lost. Anybody, ha- everyone yeah. has access to everything now. You know, there's not like, ah, oh, there's a super, u- I, I hate he's seeing that <laughs> online. It was like, this is a really rare as I could see internet. Nothing's rare. Okay. You, you know, you know what I would like to more Paul McGann shorts. Like, oh, I know. I the, 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 the one they did as the precursor for like the three doctors. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, yes. you know what? For they, they still have a couple of the old who's who are still alive. Like maybe, maybe like do, do like some shorts with them or something. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, I'm looking at like the old work, um, yeah. looking what I think. Yeah. Steve posted that yep. in there. Um, I do. Oh man. How about we just reshoot those with like modern stuff? And because, oh, yeah, yeah, that's one yeah, thing that I noticed cool. even about the uh spaceships, like right at the beginning of this episode, they, they were a little <laughs> shaky in the background there, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like you, you got a better budget than that, you can put like two pieces of gaffer tape at the bottom and paint over it so it doesn't rattle, yeah. <laughs> oh man. That's cool. All right. We'll be back next week, 930 Eastern Standard Mood Time. Uh, patrons, you'll be watching this tomorrow morning. And uh, we don't put anything behind paywalls, really. So everyone else will have access to it Wednesday. Sweet. And, oh, you, you, you get weekly, daily Wednesday, and you get Game of Who. Oh, man. It's <laughs> terrifying. And come join us. If this is your thing, you will be like, you're wrong. All your opinions suck, which they do. <laughs> You come hang out with us in Discord or IRC next week. All right. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Bye, Bye, Shot Realm.